I still can't believe it, but I <laughs> Yeah, I'm like really shocked. Leah Lopez is in disbelief that she, of all people, is hospitalized with pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome, the first known case in Oregon. This thing could get very serious, and I think it's very serious because I got it, didn't even know I got it, <laughs> and now I'm here. From the ICU inside Randall Children's Hospital, the 14-year-old says she first realized something was wrong late last week. I started to get like some weird like stomach and headache pains and I thought they were just normal. There was nothing normal about it. Leah developed a fever and shortness of breath. Then her eyes turned red. She went to her primary care doctor who sent her to Randall Children's Hospital by ambulance. And when she arrived, her ultrasound of her heart showed significantly de decreased function. Dr. Mark Buckholtz, Leah's lead doctor, says she was in cardiac shock. She was given meds, and within 24 hours... The blood pressure improved, the heart function is still decreased, and she still needs medications, but she feels remarkably better. Doctors across the globe would feel remarkably better if they knew more about pediatric multi-system inflammatory syndrome, other than it being associated with COVID-19. Speaking of which, Leah never tested positive for the virus. Her antibody test, however, did come back positive. It does appear that she did get, have the virus, recovered, although she did not have symptoms of the virus. Oregon joins a growing list of states dealing with pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome. In New York alone, there are dozens of cases. At least three children have died. Leah's prognosis is not nearly as grim. Given how well she's responded, I am very optimistic. Optimistic that she'll recover, but unsure of how long it'll take. Leah is hoping not too long. Maybe like in two more weeks. I need to recover to make sure I don't give it to anybody else. Of course, all of us at KGW are hoping for a speedy recovery. In the meantime, we can tell you that the Oregon Health Authority is aware of Leah's case, and they're advising doctors across Oregon to be on the lookout for this mystery illness now that it's here. I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.